Today I'm going to show you how to play this sight word game. You can play this game on Seesaw or you can print it out. You can play it alone or with someone else. In order to play this game, you will need one die. You will need a pencil or crayons or markers. You get to choose what you would like to use when playing this game. If you look at your screen, I'm going to explain how to play this game. There are several different words that you'll see on, on the screen. These are all of the sight words that you have learned in kindergarten. In this game, you will be practicing the sight words that you have learned. It's so important that we practice our sight words so that you can recognize them in the books that you're reading. Then you'll notice that there are numbers that are at the very bottom of the game. These numbers go in order. So they start at one, and then two, three, four, five, and six. So let's look at this game. When you see the number one, all the words above it belong to number one. So here is number one, all of these words go with number one. Then here's number two, which means that all the words above it go with number two. Number three, these are all the words that go with three. Number four, these are all the words that go with number four. Number five, I'm gonna look above it. Here's all the words that go with number five. And here's number six, all the words that go with number six. In order to begin this game, you must first roll your die. So you don't need your crayons right now or your markers or a pencil. So I'm gonna roll it and I'll show you what I get. I got this number. If you don't know what number it is, you can just count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna look for this on my game. I see the number six right here. So what you're going to do is you're gonna read, since I got the six, I'm going to read the first word that's above it. I'm only gonna read one word though, because I only rolled one time. Hmm, so I see A-R-E. If I can't figure out that sight word, I can ask someone for help. But I think I know that sight word. I think it is R. After I read it, I'm gonna color it any color I want. So I'm gonna color that word. And when I color it, that means I have read that word, that I do not have to read it again. Now, if you're playing this game with someone, then after you roll and read a word, then it's the next person's turn. But I'm playing by myself, so I'm gonna roll it again. And I got this number, one, two, three. And I'm gonna find the number three on my game. And here's the number three. I'm going to read one word only, because I rolled once, and I'm gonna read the number right above the three. That's this word right here. That's the word, hmm, then. If you don't know the word, remember, you can ask someone. Now then, I'm gonna choose another color to color it. And I only read one word because I rolled once. And I only color one word because I only read one word. Now let me roll again and look what I got. I got three again. So I'm gonna go to the three and I'm gonna go to the next word that's not colored. So I colored this word in purple. Hmm, and I'm gonna color and, and I'm gonna roll one more time. And I got the number one, and let me find the number one. Here's the number one, and I'm gonna look right above it and read that one word, out. And I'm gonna choose a color to color it, out. If you want, you can color all the words the same color or you can do it rainbow. You are done playing this game when all of your words are colored, when you have read every single word. But remember, every time you roll, you only read one word at a time. Have fun, friends. Bye.